Hello everyone, welcome to our next video and today we are going to discuss about a very special type of reaction called the reflex action. So what does it do and how does reflex action take place? We are going to understand about this. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. Reflex action is a special type of action because in reflex action the brain does not have any role. So how do we do certain function without the help of our brain? So for this, we have a special mechanism or a special part of the body called the reflex arc which is formed by the various neurons or the nerve cells and this reflex arc helps us to do the reflex actions. So what is a reflex action? Suppose you have touched anything very hot. Suppose a hot utensil where water is boiling. So whenever you touch any hot utensil, instantly we remove the hand right after touching. So how does this happen? This does not take place with the help of brain. The brain does not tell us to remove the hand. Rather, a special part called the reflex arc helps us to do this. And reflex actions take place in a very small amount of time. As a result, this reflex action is called a spontaneous reaction. So let's see how spontaneous reactions or reflex actions take place. Suppose you touched a hot utensil. So it is in a burner and this utensil is hot, it is boiling something. So suppose you touch this utensil with your hand. So once you touch the utensil, your sensory neurons, now sensory neurons means the nerves or the neurons present in your sense organ. Suppose your hand. So under the skin we have many neurons and these neurons are sensory neurons. So these neurons will carry the information from here. They will carry the information into the special part called the reflex arc. What is the reflex arc? See, all the neurons in our body, they bundle up in the spinal cord. So in the spinal cord, when all the neurons bundle up, they form a special section called the reflex arc. From this spinal cord, all the neurons will reach to our brain. But before that, before reaching the brain, this reflex arc is present. So from reflex arc also, the information moves to the brain. The reflex arc does the function in case of reflex action. So what it does, the information moves from the hand to the reflex arc that something hot is uh, there which is given a stimulus, means a stimuli which is uh, something external environment has changed. So whenever we feel the hot heat, heat in this utensil, the information will move to the reflex arc in the spinal cord. This is present in the spinal cord. Okay. This reflex arc will pass the information to the brain, but this reflex, this brain will not be giving the information back to the hand to remove the hand. What happens here is the reflex arc takes that responsibility. So the reflex arc will process the information and this reflex arc itself will give the information to our uh, muscles in the hand, the muscles to remove the hand from the utensil. Okay. The brain, what is the function of brain? It will only store the information. So whenever you touch something very hot or anything that is uh, suppose very very painful, such something is very painful or something is very hot, means something extreme happens to you. Whenever this something extreme happens, the information moves to the reflex arc, then it will move to the brain. But before even reaching the brain, the reflex arc will process the information that okay, something extreme has happened and we need to take action fast. So for fast action, spontaneous action, the reflex arc will directly give the information or instruct the muscle to remove the hand. And that is why if, uh, when the information reaches the brain, by that time we have already removed our hand. Okay, So that is what we call reflex action, which takes place with the help of reflex arc. The brain will only store the information. Obviously, it will go to the brain, otherwise you will not be able to understand what has happened. You will only realize if the information suppose is stopped here, it does not go to the brain, you can never process the information. You will never even understand what actually happened because reflex arc only understands that something extreme has happened and as a result, we need to do something to go away from this. Okay, so whenever there is a hot utensil, the hand touches the utensil, the reflex arc will understand that something, the heat has, the temperature has increased drastically and we need to move away from this, otherwise there may be some damage. So reflex arc will help us to understand that much. But when it reaches the brain, we can actually process the information and we will understand what has actually happened to us. And that information will be stored in the brain. The function 
where we remove the hand suddenly is done by the reflex arc present in the spinal cord. So this action takes place much faster compared to the action where the brain had to send the information. So suppose we don't have a reflex arc. In that case what will happen when you touch something very hot the information will move to the brain then the brain will process the information it will pass the information to the muscles of the hand that now remove the hand. By that time the, if the temperature is too high then your hand may be burnt by that time. That is why we need this reflex arc for taking out this or carrying out these very fast actions so that we don't we can save ourselves from extreme damage. Okay, so that is why reflex arc is a very important part in your body. Now, sometimes you may have heard some people say that their reflex actions are very good. I mean, some people have very good reflexes. Now, reflex also develops sometimes because of practice. In case of some players, you will see some players, suppose in cricket, they have very fast reflexes. For example, wicket keepers or people who, or fielders who stay in the slips who are close to the batsman, or even better, someone who stays at the short leg or the silly point. So these players, since they are very close to the batsman, they must have very good reflexes to catch the balls. And there are some players who are really good at this job. This is because they have practiced hard and they have increased the efficiency of their reflex arc. That is why some people have very good reflexes. In some cases, we may have some people whose reflex arc is very well developed from the beginning. By birth, the reflex arc is developed. Not by birth, means they have this uh, gene or they, their genetics is such that the reflex arc is very good. So that is also a case. Some people automatically, they seem to have a very good reflex section. But practice also increases the reflex section. And one of the most common questions that you will face in any exams or people may ask you is, what is the function of brain in reflex section. The answer to this is the brain has no function in reflex action except for storage of information. The brain will only store the information. Everything else, the action that is a reflex action is actually directed or instructed by the reflex arc. That is all about reflex action, a very interesting topic because reflex action plays a very integral part in our lives to save us from many dangerous in, uh, environments or dangerous situations. So this is all about reflex action. In the next video, we will move to the human brain. So thank you for watching and until next time, cheers.